Hey guys, Courtney here with Courtney's Customs and today I wanted to do a quick little tutorial for you guys because this is going to be my last video until after Christmas. Um, I don't want to work tomorrow or the next day because I really just want to take a little break and spend the Christmas holiday with my family. So today I'm just going to show you guys a really cute little method to do an alcohol ink tumbler. I had a customer send me this picture and she doesn't need it done until February but she went ahead and paid so um, I thought I would go ahead and squeeze it in and make a tutorial out of it. So I have a 20 ounce from Maker Flow Crafts and I base painted it white and then I am using my Picasso alcohol inks that I normally use and she sent me a picture of what she wants it to look like so that's just kind of what I'm going off of. So I have different like variations of purples and blues and pinks here. Um, I feel like it's gonna be pretty simple, maybe, I hope so. But you're also gonna need some cotton balls. Oh, and I'm gonna also need a black. I forgot to get out a black. So you're also gonna need a black along with the pinks and blues and purples for this. Um, and I'm also going to add um, the additive, the glitter additive from the glitter grind into the first coat of epoxy. If you guys do not have that, it is incredible. I'm telling you, you need to get it. So I'm gonna have my links for everything down in the description. All of my links will take you straight to the website of Maker Flow Crafts or the Glitter Grind. And with all of that being said, let's get started. So I base painted this white because I want the alcohol inks to show up a little brighter. Um, but majority of the cup is gonna be black, but I want it to look kind of textured. That's why we're gonna use the cotton balls. And so I am just going to get a little piece of parchment paper and I'm going to squirt the alcohol inks onto that. I'm going to start with my black so I can just get a majority of that done. So I'm going to take my cotton ball, dab it into the black and it's going to soak up like all of it. And I'm just making it textured. I'm just dabbing it all around the cup. You can also probably put the ink directly on the cup. Just don't let it run too much. I'm going to see which one I like better to do. Now if that's not dark enough for you, you can go over it with another coat of this. But I just wanted to make sure that what I leave white um, shows up really well with my alcohol inks. So I could have spray painted the whole thing black, but I also need it to look a little textured. So it's a little more work, but it'll be worth it in the end.
this is the decal that's going on the cup. It is a Jack and Sally decal. I found it on Etsy and I will make sure to put the link in the description. This is just cut out on black Cricut vinyl. And this is not your regular transfer tape. This is actually laminate, um, transparent laminate from the dollar store. You get a huge, huge, huge roll of it. And it's pretty cheap and works just as well. So that's what I've been using instead of <laughs> the Cricut transfer tape. So I'm just going to lay it down on this right here so it doesn't roll around. And I like to kind of stand up over top of it. When I'm putting an image on a tumbler, I like to start at the middle and just very slowly rub my thumb until it's completely on there. It just helps with like uh, wrinkles and bubbles under the vinyl and stuff. And I didn't seal that alcohol ink or anything. Um, there's no epoxy on it yet. I just went straight to a decal. So that's what I have on here right now. I think the decal really pulls it all together. It's super cute. Um, I still have to put names and anniversary dates. It's an anniversary cup for somebody. Um, and like a cute little love quote on the back. But I'm going to go ahead and start the epoxy. And I'm going to show you guys what it'll look like with that additive mixed in. Now this is what the cup looks like with a little bit of sparkle to it. Um, I love it. I think it's really, really super pretty. Um, the reason why I did not put the other vinyl on there with the names and the anniversary date and all that is because that's going to be like this really metallic vinyl and I didn't want there to be any glitter over it. So guys, that's it for this alcohol ink tumbler tutorial. If you guys have any questions, like always, please feel free to comment and don't forget to subscribe. Hope you all have a very Merry Christmas. Bye!